Hey, I don't know if this is actually working. This is my first time trying to stream stuff live. Um, so how do I even see if this is going up on my channel? I don't know. Just bear with me for one second. Oh, it got tweeted automatically. So does that mean anything? Um, click on the tweeted link. Does that work? Oh, yeah, okay, it appears to be working. So hey, how are you guys? Anyone here? Um, I am excited because I finally was able to get a webcam that actually works with the Mac. Um, where's the box? It's the creative live cam. Um, and it's the camera is actually so small, like in the picture, it's probably like this big in real life compared to the picture. When I first opened it, it was all in bubble wrap and I thought that it wasn't even in the box. I thought that um, they had just sent me like the cord for it. <laughs> I was freaking out having a heart attack. Um, but yeah, so it seems to be okay quality. I'm really sorry for the mess in the background. The gate behind me used to keep my rabbits separated. Um, yeah, so I just ate an entire pizza and it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I'm getting tired, but I really wanted to try this out. I'm going away on vacation next week, so I've been really busy getting ready for that. And of course, we'll be away next week. So this is basically my only chance to try this. Um, so yeah, I thought I would use this live event to answer like a few questions that I've gotten on YouTube. And some of them I wasn't able to answer because um, either people have the replies disabled or because of the whole Google switchover thing, like on the older videos, um, the replies got messed up or I just couldn't reply at all. Um, so yeah. Let me just see. Questions I wanted to answer. Okay, so a recent one I got, I actually did answer, but I wanted to know my subscribers' opinions. Um, Hawk8351299 asked, can we start a line or kick group chat for Utada fans? And I thought that was a good idea, but I haven't actually started one yet because I didn't know what app um, you guys wanted to use. So I already had line and you guys can add me online. It's the same username, Wikipedia. Um, I did download Kik, K-I-K, but I never used it. Um, it's not really popular here. I don't know anyone that uses it. Um, I also know a lot of um, bloggers are using Periscope now. I've never used that either, but um, maybe I can check it out. I don't know. So yeah, make sure you comment and tell me what you prefer for that. Um, D Sid, he commented, Char view soon. Ha ha ha, JK. Um, I didn't forget your request. Uh, I just have a few albums already that I want to review before I get to requests. Um, I'm really sorry about that. But also, by the way, I've noticed that you've commented on my recent videos, but you have replies disabled. I think so. Um, I haven't been able to reply to any of your comments in the past like six months. And <laughs> Jamal Breezy simply commented Utada Hikaru 3. I don't know what you mean by that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, and then I got a comment that I can't actually find, but I remembered it because I wanted to answer it in a video because I couldn't um, reply in the comment function, but uh, I thought it would be a good video topic anyway. Someone asked, where do you buy J-pop from? And I've actually bought J-pop from several different places. 
Most recently, I've been buying it off the Japanese Amazon and off the Koda Gumi fan store, like the fan club store. Um, hold on, I'm going to take a drink. Um, yeah, originally I used to buy a ton of my stuff off. Actually, originally I didn't even order stuff online because I was too afraid to. So I first started out buying J-pop from these bootleg stores that were in Chinatown. So of course they were just ripped copies that were horrible. <laughs> um, and then eventually I did get my mom to order stuff for me. Um, I actually used to never have a credit card. Like I didn't even have a credit card so I could order stuff online until I was like 21, I think. Um, so early on, my mom bought me two J-pop albums. I think they were off of um, Yes Asia or whatever that site is called. Um, and I like their service okay, but they do tend to be like a couple bucks more expensive and they tend to take like a week or two longer to ship compared to CD Japan and Amazon Japan. Um, so yeah, after that I started using CD Japan and I like their service pretty well. Also, um, they're pretty reliable and I mean, the prices are pretty standard. It's really hard to get like something on sale online on CD Japan, um, which is kind of why I like using the Japanese Amazon now. So I actually didn't figure out that I could use the Japanese Amazon until like, yeah, last year when the first Love 15th anniversary special edition came out and I really wanted to get it. And I did a little mini guide on how to use that on my one of my first love 15th anniversary videos. But basically, Amazon Japan will actually ship music and live DVDs overseas. They don't ship much of anything else. Like I haven't tried to order everything off Amazon Japan, obviously, but um, the only other things I've ordered off there are like Pokemon items and they don't ship overseas. It's from like stuff from like the Pokemon Center that will not ship overseas. Um, so yeah, you can actually get a deal on stuff on Amazon Japan because since it's Amazon, they tend to be a couple dollars cheaper than everywhere else and the price often will go down on albums after they've been out for a few days. Um, so that is where I've been buying stuff for the past like a uh, year and a half almost I think. I haven't made any orders off Sea Japan or anywhere else, I don't think. Um, up until recently, like I've said before um, in my past few videos, I recently got a membership on Koda Gumi, so I've been ordering stuff off Koda, Gu Koda Gumi um, just because they have some like Koda Gumi exclusive stuff. And their prices are not cheap. <laughs> They are pretty standard, like stuff doesn't go on sale on that site because it's a fan club, so um, yeah, that's about it. Um, usually when I do a haul video, I talk about how I ordered it and the, the process and stuff like that, so um, maybe just keep an eye out for the haul videos and you can find out a little bit more about that if you're kind of like unsure of where to order from. Uh, oh, another note about the Japanese Amazon is don't be intimidated by it because it's in Japanese. If you're not able to read Japanese, there's a little button at the top that says English or your browser can automatically translate the page. And then you can use your regular Amazon login to log into the page. And you can also use uh, sorry, I'm burping, <laughs> your credit card from your home country. So it's actually very, very easy once you translate the page. Um, once you go to like the shipping pages, it should automatically translate. Um, and once you've done it once, the Japanese Amazon will save your your address, so you won't have to like keep re-entering it and stuff. Um, okay, so 
this one video of mine <laughs> is old. It's a haul I did from Book Off. Um, that's another place to get really, really good deals on legit J-pop CDs and other items um, that are not bootlegs. So Book Off is a used bookstore, but they also carry a huge amount of music and um, stuff related to that, as well as manga and movies and stuff. But uh, I think they also have like a few brand new items, but mostly they sell used stuff there. And they're a chain from Japan, but they have like five locations in the USA. And the one I went to is in New York City. It's right outside Times Square. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's so good. Like I thought I died when I got in there. I was just going crazy. Um, but that video is called Big J Pop Haul. Eleven items: Utada, Kodokumi, Namie, and Jasmine. Um, and I got a lot of comments on this video, which I love. And I was able to reply to them, or most of them, but this is right around the time when that switch happened. And all of the, the replies got ordered in the wrong way. So I'll just go over some of those that I think are good. <laughs> um, Someone whose name is in katakana, I don't know what you're trying to say your name is. I don't know. They said, I like your videos, but I must say I cringe at how rough you handle your albums. Lol. Like three people have said that to me. Seriously, I just took the Summer of Love album. Um, where is it? I took it out of the case to rip it to my iTunes and I got a greasy pizza fingerprint on it and then I dropped it on the floor, like the whole case. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so klutzy with those things, but I can't stop. <laughs> also, I think the camera really picks up noises like that, like when I'm closing the CD cases or putting CDs on top of each other. It sounds very, very loud when I'm like listening to the playback. Um, so I think it's just, it's it seems worse than it is on camera. Uh, Khalid Al Tawajiri, Al Tawajiri. I really sorry. I'm white. I don't know how to say your name properly. Said why you don't like IU with a sad face. Uh, <laughs> so I referred to this comment in my latest IU review on colors. Um, I do like IU. I'm just not the biggest fan of her. Um, but I do really like a lot of her songs. Well, not a lot, but a few. Maybe, I don't know. I do like her, but she's just not in like my top four or five artists from Japan. Um, okay, sorry for the dead air. And Khalid, Khalid just commented again, Utada, I guess. Yes, thank you for your comments. <laughs> yeah, Foping RG said, awesome that you can actually go to a store and buy the CDs instead of the online option that we all use. It's so true, it's so much nicer to go into the store and have that like instant gratification where you automatically have the items you got instead of waiting like however many days or weeks that it takes for it to ship and paying the customs and paying the shipping and yeah. I really wish there was a book off here. I don't live in New York, but um, I really need to go back and next time I'm in, I'm in Japan, I'm going to go crazy in the book off there. Da -da -da, scrolling down. Talia Rhodes said, those small papers are called obis. Don't throw them away. I always throw them away. So the obi is like the little piece of paper that like folds around the side of your album. And apparently most people collect those, but I have always just like thrown that in the garbage right away. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that that makes a lot of people mad, but I just don't care for those. And like, they just get really messy. So 
they're all gone. I think I actually still have one of Namie's album OVs because it was like tucked. It was one of the ones I got a book off because it was already in there tucked inside the CD case. So I was like, I'll just leave it in there because I never thought to just tuck it into the case, but they're all gone already anyway. Quentin says, keep the OB, always keep the OB. Well, they are all gone. For collection purposes, it makes it more complete. Okay. It would be better if you have plastic sleeves to house the jeweled cases in because it's supposed to be like on display that way and shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, da, da, da. I thought I saw more questions on here. Wipeout CCP said J pop is declining, K pop is better and more popular in J pop now. K pop is more popular, um, and J pop has declined since the 90s and early 2000s. But whether K pop is better is your opinion, and your opinion sucks. So. I have um, Animal Crossing music stuck in my head. I was listening to my iPod and shuffle, and it kept coming on like every other song. Um, Ashmeister143 said, How do you plan to play the Japan region DVDs? Um, so far, I have not played them, I don't think. Eventually, I think I'll get a all region. DVD player, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, in the past couple of years, artists have started releasing Blu-ray editions with their album and singles, as well as well as DVDs. And I've just been getting Blu-rays because they're not region locked, so you don't have to worry about the how you're gonna watch them overseas. Um, Then they said, I asked, because even though I live in UK and Japan uses the same region code as us, do they? I did not know that. If I ever wanted to buy cheaper Hong Kong or Taiwan versions of DVDs, are they cheaper? Because um, I have a few Taiwan and Hong Kong and other region DVDs. Um, I do have my computer. DVD set to Taiwan, I think, because um, a lot of my earlier J-pop stuff that I bought is Taiwan region, so I can watch those on my computer. Um, so yeah, that's two ways you can watch them. You can either set your computer DVD player to the region. Um, just keep in mind that you can't change it more than like three times, I think. so. Yeah, make sure it's a region that you want to use frequently. <laughs> or you can buy an all region um, DVD player. Um, and then Quentin was saying in another comment that he has a program that lets you watch other regions. So I'm sure there's stuff like that where you can actually download a program or um, like a patch or something like that that will allow you to watch other region. Um, I think that is about it. Oh, also, apparently, um, you can manually change the DVD region or the region code on your DVD player. You just have to Google your DVD player brand and like change region code or something. And there's a guide on how you can do it, in, like the settings or something like that. Um, I've never actually done that. I'm just so lazy, like. I'm really like the laziest person ever, so that's probably why I never even bothered to like get the all region DVD player. <clears throat> yeah, that looks like it's about it. Um, yeah, okay, so in the comments on the stream, Chris Jack says it's working, so thank you for letting me know. 
And Becky Loves Japan says, hello. So hello, Becky. Um, I think that's about it I want to talk about on the stream. And I mostly just wanted to test out my camera and see if I could actually connect to YouTube and stuff. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but it's honestly been really hard to find um, a camera that actually works. So anyway, that is it for the stream. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be on Charlie no Sekatsu's stream coming up soon. Um, uh, Molly on Warm Astra has also invited me on his channel. So yeah, I hope to see you guys there. And thank you for tuning in for this stream and have a good night. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.